with doing this type of search using the public search tools available on their own. Um, but more detailed searches should be done with the assistance of an outside search firm. Typically, what the technology folks will do is provide a description of the technology area, including any known references that they're aware of in terms of publications uh, to the searcher. And then the search firm completes the search and publishes a, a results report that will contain a listing and the abstracts of all of the um, references, be it patents and uh, publications, uh, non-patent publications that were identified in the search. And then uh, the research and development personnel would review the results of the state-of-the-art search. Um, and in particular, for patent references, it's important to review the entire reference and not just the claims. Uh, and uh, a patent attorney should be utilized if some of the references are particularly relevant to try to understand the scope of the claims of competitive patents. The second type of uh, search that I want to discuss is a patentability search. And this is particularly important for, uh, for when we have an invention as a, as, a, as a first step to determine whether, in fact, we want to file a patent application or not. It assists with the decision of whether to file a patent application and, um, and if we do the patentability search and we don't uncover um, prior art or other patents that are the same as our invention, then we may decide to file a patent application. And if we decide to file a patent application, the results of the patentability search can also assist the inventor and the attorney in drafting a better patent application in terms of uh, more clearly distinguishing the invention over any prior art that was identified in the search. So this a patentability search is also a worldwide patent and non-patent uh, 